looking for for this day. For eight months, eleven days, three hours. Every once in a while, a truly revolutionary product comes along that changes everything. The Yaparan Consortium has been, well, first of all, one is very fortunate to get to work on even one of these products. I've been working with Tim for a while now, and uh, I know he's very excited for his product. We know it's going to be a game changer, but he's still very nervous about the production. 1817 brought us Edison's light bulb. Not the first of its kind, but certainly the most popularized and the most famous. Even today, it is rising as the killer product in rural East Africa, thanks to the spread of microgrids electrifying the area for the first time. Thanks to the light bulb, the villagers are seeing their lives modernized. Their schedules are changed, and they, like we, are seeing their very perception of time change. 1908. The Model T. Not the first car. In fact, the first car came in the 1670s when it was invented by a Jesuit priest. But the Model T was the one that became popularized. Yes, even though you could only get it in the color black. But with its advent, our perception of distance changed and points anywhere on the continent seem to draw closer together. The same principles behind the automobile fueled the rise of the semi-truck. And now goods like produce, or milk, or ice cream, or liquid nitrogen, or any other kitchen essential could be delivered to your city cheaper than ever. 100 years later, Google and HTC teamed up to deliver a smartphone that was admittedly, at the time, neither the best, certainly not the first, and definitely not the most popular of its kind. It was, some might say, merely a desperate attempt to match the amazing success of Apple's iPhone. But Android, with its open source OS, was a challenge and an invitation to developers like us. Android was founded on the belief that anyone through software can order a pizza no matter where they are using the internet and get it delivered to them within the hour. Well today, we're going to introduce three revolutionary new products. They may not be the first of their kind or even the best. But by golly, we made them, and you are stuck here with me listening to me talk about them. The first is a Premier full-color LED lighting solution. The second is a lightweight but durable control system that can be installed into truck cabins. The third is a breakthrough Android application that leverages Bluetooth low energy to connect to a broader system lighting, trucks, android, lighting, trucks, android. These are not three separate devices. They are one device, and we are calling them Bluetooth Low Energy Controlled RGB Ambient Lighting Solution for Truck Cabins. Today, the Aperon Consortium is going to reinvent the truck lighting industry. And here it is. So I was like, dude, light bulb? I thought Aperon Consortium came out with the greatest of technologies all the time. And he shows us a light bulb. Something's gotta be up. Something. Actually, here it is. But more on this one way. So, what does it actually do? Let's take a look. We're talking full spectrum ambient lighting control over four separate lamps in the truck interior 
controllable over Bluetooth low energy from your favorite Android device. Any color on any length. And your favorite color profiles travel with you from truck to truck to truck. So that with a single push of a button, your lamps can change from the cool blue of your relaxation profile to the deep red of your night drive profile. And on the back end, we have complete protection from the most volatile power and temperature conditions. What's more? State-of-the-art LIN 2.0 bus technology allows for easy installation into any pre-existing truck system. But what am I doing now? We'll take a look, because it does this and this, sometimes a little bit of this, and it also does this. I thought this was a lighting system. Hello and welcome. Okay, honestly, I, I didn't even know that our system was able to do that. What? Mind blown.